Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how to channel. So just giving this channel a bit of love as it has been a while since my last video. So in this video, we're going to learn something new as I start to learn how to build games using uh, a gaming engine. So the gaming engine in particular is the Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine has recently been updated to the latest UE5. Um, been released just a few days ago. So we're going to try to install this on an Apple machine running Apple, Apple Silicon. So my current setup is I'm running a 6 inch MacBook Pro with a 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, and 16 gigs of unified memory with a 512 SSD storage. So this is the very base model. Let's see how it performs uh, with the new Unreal Engine 5. So to get Unreal Engine, uh, just go to unrealengine.com and go to the download section. Uh, you could read the details here. Currently, it's only supported on the Intel version of uh, Apple. Uh, so that would mean that we're going to run Rosetta to emulate it on Apple Silicon. So from here, just go under the step one here, which is to download the Epic Games Launcher. Once you download it, uh, just sign up and agree to the terms and conditions, yada yada. So I already did that. Um, once you get signed up, uh, there's a button at the top right, uh, which says install Unreal Engine 5.0.0, or you could go under library and under engine versions, click on the plus and you could install it from there as well. So after you click on install, it would give you some options. It's around 36 gigs of uh, download, more or less. Um, so once you satisfied on which directory it will install, just click on install. Uh, it would take some time to download, so I already did that. Now that uh, it's downloaded, it would verify and then you'll have this uh, button showing launch. So when you click on launch, should open up the Unreal Editor app and start initialize uh, some initialization and loading of some of uh, the shaders. So let me minimize some of these. So what I notice is it takes a while on this particular area to finish. So we're gonna time it at 1047 and see how long it would take for it to load. Uh, when that is loading as well, just want to show you that the application is running on Intel, so it's being emulated. If it uh, kind was uh, Apple native, you would see it should show as Apple, but right now it's showing as uh, Intel, so it's not yet running natively. Cool, I'll, I'll resume once this uh, launch screen has finished. Right, so that took a while. So I think it took more or less 10 minutes for the application to launch, but it did launch. So hopefully that was just on the first launch and doesn't happen every time. Um, but for now, let's see if we could create our first game. So it's gonna ask access to the documents folder and the 
project file is out of date would you like to update so well, let's click on update and there you go so we're able to successfully install it and it's running uh, let me check the stats so it's using 16 gigs uh, so right now it's using 14 gigs um, yeah not that bad so there you go so we managed to create uh, first project just the template and it's able to handle it so I'm gonna close this editor and I'm gonna quickly try to launch it again hopefully it doesn't take that long as the first time perfect so it's only the first launch that takes a while after the second time it should be pretty fast cool hope you like this video uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks bye for now